we all come from unity, but the reason why we are here is not because of unity. It's because of another thing, which is division. So we call it this way. The unity, we call it the bending towards oneself. That in Greek, no, sorry, in Latin, say universus. Mm. So universe is something that bends towards itself, to the one. So universe. But then when one bends towards the outside, it's two because it bends in two. So that's what we call in Latin divers, diverse, hmm. which means two bending. So, so the thing is that we come from the universe and the universe, in order to experience itself, created the diverse. So diversity means the expressions of the oneself. For, for instance, light. You have only one light, which is the white light, but suddenly it divert itself into a rainbow, different colors. So you can see the different colors because you are resonant. Your resonance has changed in order to be able to see it. But actually it's all white. It's all light, pure light that you are, because you bent yourself, you can appreciate and observe the colors. So all those colors, when they combine together, creates the lack of light, which creates dark colors and eventually the darkness. So we see that, for example, we see the universe around and we see uh, darkness, the, the night sky, but actually it's, it's not is not black. The only reason why we see it dark is because we cannot see the infrared light. But if you see the universe in an infrared light, you will see all blue and red colors all around and not, not black. So it's just because we are not designed, we haven't evolved to see the light in that spectrum. So this means that actually the darkness, the biggest darkness, darkness that we see actually is full of light, but we are not uh, designed to appreciate it. We haven't evolved yet to that. So um, the same thing happens with the entire diver diversity, which means one cell divides in two in order to create life. So you wouldn't be here, you wouldn't exist if something wouldn't divide you. So this means that there's a program in the universe that all unity needs a force that divides it mm -hmm. in order to create something different. And this division eventually will find balance to find a way to unite themselves again and create a new one. Mm -hmm. And that, that, that's what we call gravity or love. So basically the unity is love that has been split by something, by the same force of the diversion. And, it, and inside they have the magnetism of positive and negative that will try to pull them back together as unity again, which we call love. So this system is natural. This is something that, that is very easy to understand, I think, and it's very natural. The thing is that as many more divisions you get, the darker it gets, as many more divisions in the atom you have, molecules, chemicals, mat matter, and eventually the light cannot go through the matter. And so you see shadows, and the shadows scare. And when you see the shadows, um, you see these forms of light that have been evolving through time and space in order to divide you. Mm. So these creatures that have evolved to divide light in order to create diversity mm -hmm. are what we call 
fallen angels, demons, darkness, and all these things that actually are the designers of this reality. Mm. If we wouldn't have the opportunity to experience love for others without darkness, it's because of darkness that you have, have a family, that you have a culture, that you have a religion, that you have faith, that you have projects, that you have a mission. So it's because of them, not because of unity. Unity is the thing that reminds us, hey, remember that even though all this difference, you are one. Mm -hmm. You are all, always one and you will always be one. But through the division and darkness, you will ex you will break down yourself in order to take something from you that you wouldn't see unless you split. So it's like cutting yourself in half and saying, oh my gosh, I had no idea I had that inside. Mm -hmm. So basically darkness is something that teach you potential, something that helps you to understand yourself, which means that you don't have to follow the darkness to do that. You just have to accept the system of darkness as a way for you to find the light. Mm -hmm. So you so don't judge it. So not judging yeah. it helps. Yes, not judging it helps. Now, some people blame the dark beings for wars and uh, control and uh, all these things that happen, the, the, the horrible things that happen in this world of humanity. But if you think a little bit, it's not them, it's our consciousness. Mm. So I'm not afraid of demons, I am afraid of humans, mm. <laughs> actually. So basically, 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 we try because of religion, we try to, to call ourselves naive, like if there are forces outside that are controlling us, and we are not the ones to blame, that we are not responsible of our actions, it's just the dark being around. But actually, we have to be aware that we are part of the creator. So if there is a war, it's because humans created a war, yeah. not because they created it. Okay, 